thanks so much for choosing to spend a bit of time with me again. I hope everything is great in your world. So I titled this video, I took my eye off the ball, and I'll get to why I titled that in a few seconds. But before I do, I've been kind of missing from social media for the last while because of why I took my eye off the ball. But yeah, I've been missing for the last while. Thanks be the fucking Jesus is you. As a result, you guys have done some absolutely amazing things for me, and I'm not actually sure whether I thanked you all or not. So real quick, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. Number one, Lily's home. Yeah. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who sent her love, comments, and all the stuff that you did while she was in the hospital. It was a tough old time for her, but she's home now. As you can see, she looks beautiful and amazing, and she's getting better and better every day. But thanks so much for all your love for us. She really appreciate it, and so do I. Second one is thanks so much to everyone who loved, liked, shared, commented, whatever on myself and Jackie Fox's trip to Ackle Island. Very nerve-wracking doing that type of video, but your response has encouraged me to do something like that again. So thank you so, so, so much. And thanks, Jackie. You rock, Jackie. Yeah. And the last one, I want to give a massive shout out to the students from this college here, because I'm not attempting to pronounce that. I can barely pronounce my own name half the time, let's be honest. With these incredible students from Mount Bello in, in County Galway, that was the last talk I gave before. There was a midterm, but then also I got ill. So. I just want to give a massive shout out to you guys, you rocked that day and actually something I'm going to talk about in this video, I tried it with you first and you were amazing, you encouraged me to do this in my talk again, so cheers. So I titled this video, I took my eye off the ball and when it comes to me, that's exactly what I did when it comes to my health, when it comes to looking after myself. As some of you may have seen from my social media, I ended up in hospital about a week ago and the reason why I was in hospital is nothing new, anyone who follows me knows I've got a problem with my leg and I ended up in there with that again. It was actually the trip to the doctor who sent me to the hospital that made me realise I took my eye off the ball. It made me realise how much I wasn't looking after myself. And the reason I'm sharing this with you today is because I'm fearful that a lot of people do this. A lot of men do do this. And let's not make this a sex thing because I'm sure women do this as well. But I think we're famous, us Irish guys, for not telling people how we feel. You are right there, Des? <coughs> Fine, thanks, Mary. <coughs> is the smoke bothering you? No, not at all. I, I, I didn't even notice this. Not going to the doctor, stupid things like this. <clears throat> your health is your wealth at the end of the day. My ma told me that. What are we doing? <laughs> Two cameras, yeah? So I hadn't been feeling too good. I had been a lot of pain in my body, but there were certain things that was happening to me that were starting to scare me. And one of the big ones was completely forgetting what I was saying. I was got such a fright. And I think the worst example of this was when I was here on the stage in Waterford in front of an absolutely incredible bunch of ninjas. And halfway through the talk, I stopped in the middle of the stage, I looked around, and I said to the girl sitting in the front, what was I just saying? And they told me. And when I came off the stage that day, I burst out crying in front of Jackie. I said, well, that, that's really after scaring me. But of course, buried my head in the sand, didn't do anything about it. And the reason I did is because oh, me and Jackie had more talks and more talks, and I have to be well and I have to be okay. But I was burying what was wrong with me. I wasn't dealing with it, and as a result, I took my eye off the ball. I went to see my GP, and she told me in no uncertain terms that I'd burnt out. I was completely and utterly exhausted. And when I think back to how I've been looking after myself, or a better way of putting it, how I haven't been looking after myself, I've kind of only got myself to blame. And I think some of us, this is what we do. Like, the first thing I did, I stopped eating. I actually stopped eating. Who stops eating? Like, I, I don't really know why. But I'm, then I'm wondering why I have no energy when I'm doing these talks. And it was only after sitting with my GP, who was a legend by the way, and having a really open conversation, I talked about the fact that I'm doing more frequent talks now because I'm doing them with Jackie. And yeah, to be told in non-certain terms, you're completely burned out, was a little bit of a shock, I'm not gonna lie, but a bit of an eye opener, and a little bit of a kick in the bum that I think I, I really, really needed. You'd be glad to know, or maybe not glad to know, that I'm feeling much better now. But I urge anyone, especially the men watching this, how are you three fellas that are watching this? All right, lads. Don't be burying stuff that's wrong with you, you know, because you think, oh, I have, to, I have to be the man. Fuck all that shit, man. Look after number one. If you're not okay, people around you are not going to get the best version of you. Your kids aren't going to get the best dad. Your partner's not going to get the best husband or boyfriend or whatever it is. Please, lads. And ladies as well. Just everyone, humans, just put yourself first. If you feel sick, go to the doctor, says me. Oh, I'm terrible at stuff like that. We are so important. You're the most important person in the universe. So check in with yourself, both mentally and physically. Don't end up like this guy should we go to the hospital. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of this uh, vlog. So I just want to make a complete and utter show of myself. I just I love learning new things and absorbing new things. And I, I've always loved the idea of escape rooms and stuff like that, which led me down this rabbit hole of you know, finding uh, escape rooms at home that you could do with board games and stuff like that. I got really into puzzles during the COVID from following a guy called Chris Ramsey and his best friend, Wes Barker. 
Here's probably on YouTube. They actually, these two lads have a podcast, which I absolutely love, called Bottom of the Barrel. And what you're meant to do is you're meant to tell three friends. So I'm telling all of you, go subscribe to Bottom of the Barrel. Two Canadian fellas every Saturday evening for an hour. It's hilarious and it's great crack. These two lads are magicians. I went from watching Chris doing his puzzles to learning how to do, you ready for this? <laughs> Card tricks. Yeah, I got into puzzles and magic. So before I go today, I'm gonna to do a card trick for you. What am I thinking? Well look, we'll give it a go. Let's see if this works out. So let me just rejig this camera and then I'll do a card trick for you. So Gary's doing magic tricks now. <laughs> anyway, these are the uh, Dead Hands decks from Xavier Spain. Really, really cool deck of cards. Okay, so the two jokers. We're gonna need these two in a second, so we leave that there. And as you can see, it's just a completely random deck of cards. For some reason, I'm, I'm left-handed when I do magic. And magic, when I do magic. Can you even hear me say David Blaine here? But um, I'm right-handed, so I've no idea about that. So anyway, if I had a participant here with me, I'd hand them the cards like this so that they could... This is gonna take a while. <laughs> I'd hand them the cards like this so they can get the cards and they can shuffle them and they can do whatever they like with them. You can even give them, you know, one of these bloody things. And you get real fancy schmancy when you do that and you go like that, ooh, right? And then I take back the cards and I say to them, I'm going to dribble the cards wherever they say stop. They say, say they stop there. So like, this is your card right here. So I'm going to lose your card somewhere into the middle of the deck like so. And we will even give them a little bit of a shuffle to make sure that your card is gone. It's gone forever. So yeah, so we're gonna need these two jokers. So I'm hoping that these two jokers are gonna find your card. So we stick one on the top like this, we stick one on the bottom like that. And as you can see, we've got one on the top, one on the bottom, and I'm hoping that if I throw these cards, as you can see, one card has stayed in between the two jokers, and that one card is a boom, a boom. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It's just when I, when I do all this magic, it, <sighs> shut up. <laughs> Thanks so much for choosing to spend this bit of time with me. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everything is amazing in your world. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic weekend. Thanks so much to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, maybe think about hitting the subscribe button below. Definitely hit that like button if this is something that you like. And feel free to share this video. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Thanks so much for all your support. You're all amazing. I'll see you all on Monday for a post. But for now, have a wonderful weekend. Peace.